Well, Nugget, how you doing? Huh? So, I feed some grain to the horses, and some of you sent some Marin Fulls minerals, which was really nice. And so I feed that, just a little scoop of that. But when I decide to wean a baby, I want them to have a little extra loving. Hey guys, welcome to the farm. I just got back from a work trip up to Shiprock, New Mexico. And uh, anyway, it was, it's always good to get home. It rained while I was gone. We've been getting some moisture, and so that's, that's always good, but it's a little muddy around here. But it's time. It's time for Nugget to get weaned. Nugget is about five and a half months old, and uh, it's time for her to, to grow up and be a big girl. So I'm gonna brush her off. She's muddy, and I've got a pen set up, and we'll put her over there, right here close to her mama, and so I think it'll be good. We'll, we'll be right here where we can watch her, and I think this will be good. Well guys, Nugget is growing up to be a big pretty girl. A lot of babies this time of year are almost yearlings because in the showing world or the, you know, if they're going to be shown in raining or cutting or halter or whatever, when they say they're a yearling, they want them to be a full year. But she was born in the fall or late, I forget, it was September, October. Anyway, I just added it up the other day and she's just at about five and a half months old. And so she's plenty old enough to wean and people have actually asked me, when is it best to wean them? I'm not the expert, even though I've raised a lot of babies through the years, but I always make sure they're at least four months old and then depending on the health of the mom, I can go all the way to six months old. Some moms need them pulled at four months old because they're really struggling. Chipper actually has been putting on weight and looking better and better even through the winter because we've been feeding them so well. I'm gonna go ahead and just brush on Nugget and let you enjoy as if you were here with me, so. Here we go. There you go. She is so gentle, but it, she really hasn't been messed with a lot. She's just been around us since she was a baby. And I spent a few days getting her broke to lead, but then she's just been enjoying growing up and hanging out with the herd. So it's time to start Letting her grow up, becoming a big girl. And uh, we sure do enjoy her around here. She's sure a pretty girl. She's a baby out of Chipper and by my stallion Gold 66. She's the first offspring of Gold 66. The only offspring of Gold 66 to this point. Lex is in fold by Gold 66, so it'll be fun to see a little brother or sister here in a few months. Man, she's awesome. She doesn't mind me brushing under her belly, in between her legs. She's just doing great. She's gonna be a stocky filly. I'm excited all the muscles she's gonna have. Ooh.
She's doing awesome. They sure get dirty this time of year though. Well, she's doing so good. I'm gonna saddle her up for the first time. Now don't worry, this saddle's so tiny. It's about the size for goats. So I'm not really saddling her up. Just setting it on her. Doesn't that make her look cute? That's pretty awesome. So, no hesitation at all. She's doing so good. I'm sure excited to see her grow up. so dirty I'm just trying to clean some of this off but man she's doing awesome she'll be old enough that right as Blake gets off his mission Blake can start riding her so I think I can tell you because Blake doesn't watch YouTube on his mission but this might be a gift for Blake when he gets home. Because then he'd have... Hey, Jasper, you're in the way. Come here. Come here. Anyway, then Blake would have a mare that he could raise for the next 25 years. And raise some babies for himself. For his kids. So, I'm kind of excited. But, anyway, tell me what you think about Nugget. She's doing pretty dang good. Let's go, Nugget. Come here. Man, you're doing good, girl. She is such a pretty girl. She's like, wait, you're kind of taking me away from all my buddies, but she's being nice and quiet about it. There you go. Good girl, Nugget. Let's go. No hesitation at all coming through the gate. And voila. We got her in here. I'm just going to let her go for a little bit. And we're just going to watch her and see how she does. And her new surroundings. There you go, Nugget. Go check it out. She's got a nice big area here. And she can talk to her mama right across the way. And this will be awesome. Isn't the sky beautiful today? with the storms we have with these clouds that are remaining and that beautiful blue sky. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed kind of watching Nugget. And uh, we'll leave her over here for maybe a month or so 
before we reintroduce her to mama and by then chipper will probably not allow her to nurse anymore but we'll just watch that and see you were so pretty girl she still has some mud that was under that halter i should have got off but we'll get that off later Anyway, I'm going to go get her some water and some feed and then we'll be back. Fred, you're looking regal today. Look how pretty he is. And honestly, is this Fred or Barney? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell the difference. Fred must have liked that I was bragging about him because uh, I come walking back to the barn and uh, he's all fanned out. Let's see if he'll turn towards us. That's when it's really pretty. Come on, bud. Sometimes they like to keep their tail towards you. Come on, we want to see that. That's beautiful. Wow, Fred. Way to put on a show for everybody. You must be sensing that spring is around the quarter, corner. We'll have to let Wilma out. We've kept her cooped up. As you'll remember, we bought one more male. So Barney, Wilma, and Betty, and then after about a month, we let him out and Barney stayed here, but the girls left after a couple days. We were able to find Betty and bring her back and she's been cooped up ever since. But we're hoping to let him out with the males of spring, so. And we never have found the other female. Actually, someone did say they saw her about half a mile from here the other night but we were out of town and no one's seen her since. So she's still alive. So hopefully we'll find her somewhere. <laughs> Look at that. She kind of attacked. She didn't attack, but we have the most gentle dogs ever. So but she acted like she was gonna attack Missy. But I'm gonna go and spend some time brushing off Cash because Cash is uh, dirty from all this rain. Well, now I'm just going to brush Cash, and Cash still gets real spooky at first. But once you start loving on him, he calms down. He's a sweet little horse, but I think he may have had a little abuse. Or at least treated kind of roughly, if that makes sense. So they weren't doing it to hurt him, but I'm sure as he was rounded up, it was on four wheelers or motorcycles. And then to catch him, they roped him. And so all those things have him kind of scared of people, but he's coming around and I may have found a home for him. We'll know here in the next couple weeks, but he sure is a pretty boy. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Again, I have to go slow until, until I make contact, kind of, and then he realizes, oh, okay, that feels good. Oh, it's okay. It's all right, boy. Buddy. He's a pretty boy and I think he's come around a lot. And so he'll be a really nice pony for someone someday. He just needs some TLC. But there you go, boy. You look a lot better cleaned off. Oops, there's some back here. Oh. That looks 
looks a little better. You look good, boy. Man, it's a beautiful afternoon. The sun will go down here in half hour though, and it'll cool off in a hurry. But let me show you a nugget and uh, explain to you something that I do when I do wean a baby. Well, Nugget, how you doing? Huh? So I feed some grain to the horses and some of you sent some Marin Fulth minerals, which was really nice. And so I feed that, just a little scoop of that. But when I decide to wean a baby, I want them to have a little extra loving because they're gonna be getting a little less attention from mama. So I want her to know that, hey, I have some grain in there for you. And so I'll start giving her some grain. We don't grain our horses a whole lot. Once in a while, just if we're working them hard, if we're gonna go on a big ride, or if we're trying to fatten them up. But in Nugget's case, she's healthy, but we wanna supplement what she's gonna miss from the milk. And so we'll just kind of overlap and that way she won't get a big pot belly. Cause if you just t take them right off of milk and put them on hay, they have a tendency to get a big grass belly, they call it. But this'll kind of keep her toned up and looking good. I've got her some water over there and uh, giving her some grain. And she's looking like a million bucks, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed coming along today as Nugget is getting some TLC and gonna be weaned. Still working on getting Palmer to let me come close while he's eating. He's not totally comfortable yet, but he's getting better. The problem is I go out of town for work for a couple days and then he doesn't get messed with. And, but he's doing better all the time. Glad as I say that he walks away. 